I think you mean the fact that we've done this research, mm -hmm. paid a guy named Rich Simon, one of a famous meteorologist, to evaluate it. Um, and we produced three different reports, one on the Tehachapi area, the San Gorgonio Pass, and the Solano area wind resources. And we've come to the conclusion that 15,000 megawatts of vertical axis turbines can be added to the wind farms in California. Well, that's enormous. California needs a lot of energy. It needs both its offshore wind turbines, it needs its solar, and it needs to build out all that, all the energy it can make. And these wind farms are close to Los Angeles, San Francisco. They're kind of right there. They're not out in Wyoming where you have to make a thousand mile long transmission line to bring wind energy into the state. So what we think is going to happen is that they're going to build out these wind farms with our turbines, probably through the big companies, and we'll get our royalty license from that, and that they will probably put hydrogen gas production in most of them because there's so much energy. And to take that out by transmission line, it may not be very likely, but you can produce hydrogen gas, green hydrogen gas from that much wind energy. And especially with technology that lasts for 70 years in those conditions. So that's what I expect will happen in California, that the onshore wind farms are gonna become the major hydrogen, green hydrogen gas hubs for California with our, tur our turbines or off takes of our turbines building out the, the 15,000 megawatts of capacity here in the state.